To write the name for K2O, we first need to recognize that this is an ionic compound. That's because we have a metal and a nonmetal. When we have a metal and a nonmetal bonded together, it's an ionic compound. Specifically, we have potassium and oxygen, just two different elements. So this is called a binary ionic compound, and we can use these rules to write the name. We'll write the name for the metal, that's the potassium, just as it appears on the periodic table. Then we can write the name for the nonmetal, the oxygen. We'll use a small o, and then we're going to replace the ending with IDE. So the YGEN we replace with IDE. And this is the name for K2O, potassium oxide. If you were given the name and asked for the formula, you need to realize that potassium, it forms one plus ions. This is its ionic charge. So each potassium has a charge of one plus. Oxygen forms two minus ionic charges. So you see we need two one plus charges to balance out the two minus. So that's the name for K2O. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.